Hey viewers, Zombie Bernie. Yeah, what's up? All right, so the Reaver, very amazing class, if not my favorite class in the game. Originally, before ever using it, I was really skeptical about it because the way the Reaver works is that you end up actually sacrificing health with one of the moves, but that move is so fast and you can do a lot of damage really quickly but you need to know how to build the reaver the right way and that is what I'm bringing to you. So first, let me tell you how you actually want to spend your first 10 levels, all right? Like you want to rush to get these abilities and the only, the only abilities you want are from bloodlust. You do not want the stuff from assault. So many times have I played with reavers that have actually gone into skills on assault that mighty blow i know mighty blow sounds really good and by all means it is really good it's a good starter ability to help you out on the reaver when you start off but that is it do not get the augment on it do not you will waste an ability point on that do not get any of the abilities in assault at all bloodlust is the tree that you want if you want your enemies to feel the pain all right, so here we go. Devour, amazing move. You do not want to get the augment on this. It's kind of useless, and I'll explain why in a moment, but devour, you just want to leave this as it is. Ring of pain, awesome AOE, buffs you, and does dot damage to enemies that are locked in it. Well, not locked in it, more like standing in it. And you do want to get the augment on this, but not just yet. So, think about it this way. Level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You would have to sacrifice something for this, so I say no. 10, 11, 12, 13. That's what you want. Now let me talk about these abilities real quick. First, Rampage. The... Uh, okay. That sounds weird. Um, anyhow, well, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Rampage. Oh, God, such an amazing move. And you can tell by the coloration of it. And a single player is a focus ability. Which kind of makes, you know, playing as a Reaver in single player not as good as playing a Reaver in multiplayer. Rampage, that damage buff, that speed buff, but the health amount buff. That's for any damage you do. You definitely want to get this before you get Dragon Rage. Because this one sacrifices your health for doing damage. And if you're already really low on health then you're just doing even more damage. And if you're the Reaver and you're putting out a massive amount of damage, the enemies are going to focus on you and just try to do more damage to you as well. And then you want that because that means... Yeah, just read it. Alright. So, like, the way that I end up doing, like, with the Reaver before going into any group of enemies to fight is... I kind of run up, get uh, get their aggro, pop Rampage, throw down a Ring of Pain, and then start using Dragon Rage. It just bursts everything down. A Reaver can clear a room out in less than 30 seconds if done properly. You got to kind of watch out though for um, the uh, soldiers that have the big tower shields or just regular foot soldiers because sometimes they can actually interrupt you using Dragon Rage. So you don't just like want a single target necessarily uh, unless it's like a really big VIP target like a Pride Demon or something or a Despair Demon or uh, the uh, Red Templar Behemoth, the um, Knight Commanders, the Venturi Mages, the Assassins. Assassins are a must that you gotta get because an Assassin can fuck up an entire run for everybody but regardless so you do that you run in da -da 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 boom dead but here is the best part about this combo oh my god I cannot wait till in the future when my new capture card arrives and I just start showing you videos 
of the Reaver. I can burst down the Venatory Commander in no time. If I can get the Demon Commander uh, focused on a tank, and then he, uh, the, the way the Demon Commander attacks, you know, he pops up out of the ground on his target, you know, tries to kill him and everything. If he doesn't kill him, he does this little panic burst, and he goes back underground, and he appears somewhere else, and shoots these spirit balls at the enemy, right? If you have a Reaver off to the side waiting for that to happen with this build, and that Reaver just runs up to the Demon Commander while he kind of, you know, shoots off the spirit balls, boom, Rampage, Dragon Rage, boom, dead, no problem. Biggest problem, though, ends up being the Red Templar Commander because Red Templar Commander is hard for any melee unit to fight, point blank, because he's got a lot of hard move, uh, hard hitting moves that are a lot of AOE as well, and they just kind of really interrupt anybody that's up close. But you kind of like, when playing as a Reaver, you want him to aggro on somebody else. Your best time for actually bursting down the Red Templar Commander is when he's in his giant form and he ha actually has full armor. That is your that is your window of opportunity to just waylay into him for a crap load of damage. Like I literally like so when the Red Templar Commander dies, he uh kind of does this whole little animation where he takes another giant potion, backfires, his body starts rejecting it, and he only has like maybe 10% life left. I've actually exceeded that 10% life on him and actually just straight up killed him, negating the, the fact that that animation would happen. And it makes the, the kind of fight little glitch out a little bit because even though he has zero health, it still pops up in the right, right hand corner, the top right hand corner, where it says his name and his health bar, but it's empty and everything. Oh, it's, it's funny as hell. And the, like one of uh, the times that I actually, it's not just one, it's the times that I actually did that. It's, you know, like, he's in the middle of doing something, and his body just kind of, like, stops, freezes, and just, like, plumps up and falls over. It's hilarious to watch. But then, okay, so, like I said, you want Relentless Attack because you want high crit hit. So, actually kind of, like, running through all your rogues, promoting them first is what I did, and then going over to the Reaver, good choice to do. It really is. Also, having high constitution is also really useful because, you know, you're sacrificing a lot of health. The more health you have, the better. <clears throat> I'm actually also going to get into inventory on the Reaver to kind of tell you what you kind of want for armor upgrades as well. Because that's, that's something you need to pay attention to. But uh, Fervor, right there, that damage bonus is awesome. Bloodbath, awesome too. And the fact that you already get scenting blood... That really helps out. I mean, it does kind of speed up your attack, but not really. It allows you to close gap be, uh, between your enemies, which is awesome whenever you're using dra uh, the, you know, when you're bursting down enemies. Uh, it gives you a bit of speed to kind of run off, catch an archer really quickly. You do want warriors resolve once again. You know, you're losing a lot of health, and you get that stamina back. And when your stamina is restored like that, you can keep that ring of pain up and the torrent of pain. Very useful for, you know, the cooldown reduction on a Devourer, and it makes your Dragon Rage cost less health. Sure, that kind of means that, you know, you're not going to be dishing out as much damage on your Dragon Health initially, but it does mean that in those bursty moments where the enemies are all aggroed on you, you can actually put out more Dragon Rage before you would accidentally go down. Now, the game does have a glitch going on right now, where sometimes after you go down once as a Reaver, you can get back up, Rampage no longer works. That is a horrible glitch, and Bioware, you need to fix that now. You hear me? You need to fix it. Because you're gimping this class, and you're making the Arcane Warrior better because of it. Alright? Damn you. Reaver's supposed to be best, in my opinion. Garg. And, uh, so you don't want to get consumed, though. Uh, I mean, yeah, it gives you that 25% crit hit chance bonus on Dragon Rage, but it's only that first attack, and Dragon Rage is a three-pronged attack when you use it, um, but, but you know, you have to press the button each time yourself, meaning that each part is a different activation of the attack. So the first part, hit with right hand, second part, hit with left hand, uh, third part, hit with both hands, which by the way is actually two damage indicators when you hit both hands, it's like a rending attack upwards. So that only works out on the first one on the on the first part of it and I I just do not see the point of getting that 
I mean, if, if it were to actually make the uh, devour better, where it would actually sap more health, then yes, I would love. Uh, I mean, I would tell you right now, get it, but it doesn't, so it's kind of pointless to get it. So, in assault, in the assault tree, all you want to get is passives. And you want coup de gras, adamant, deep reserves, clear path, ball, uh, bear mares, uh, bleh. I almost said ball, and then, like you just heard me, mare. Yeah, bear mauls the wolves. And, um, you might want to think that you want to get Guard Smasher, you know, for, like, Pride Demons or even the Red Templar Commander. Don't get it. It's kind of useless, too, because most of the time you'll have, like, a Rogue with you or a Mage, and they can work down Guard super fast anyway. So there's no point in getting Guard Smasher. But you do want to get Shield Breaker because that, that armor reduction, that armor pin... Well, it's not pinned, it's just armor reduction. It's very good. And the Reaver is a crit hit class. You gotta keep that in mind. It'll cost you, it's good, because damage return, you know, it's thorns and everything. It, and, you know, you're going right up into the fray. You're going to get attacked. And that's pretty much it. Um, so here to count it all out for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or actually, that'd be level seven. Eight, nine. <clears throat> ten. Or you could go ten right there. E either one. So, let's say eleven now. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Or did I leave Bloodbath out? I think I did, I'm not sure. So let's just go off on 14 right now. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I did leave Bloodbath out, so that'd be 17, 18. Oh god. You get. Well, yeah, you got the idea. You can work it out yourself. Mind my little uh, disconnected mind right now. And looks like Officer Sands wants to play. Um. He's gonna have to give me a moment though, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, the end of this video. I'm gonna move on next video is gonna be on the uh, hunter Well, no, not the hunter uh, I'm gonna do Templar next. Templar is an uh, interesting one that can actually be built in many different ways But that's the Reaver video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's given you a lot of insight Comment subscribe like do all that for me, please 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 hell even shirt. God damn it Julian Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Peace out Arg.